Hi and welcome to another video from Apple Hacks. My name is James and today we're going to be talking about home sharing on the new Apple operating system, Catalina iOS. And you may be saying, where is, oh my god, home sharing now that we have the death of iTunes? Let's go to the computer screen and find out why and how to get your home sharing. Okay, let's start from the very, very beginning from it. And I'm just going to show you what I have found out and through a little bit of research, Googling Google. Let's say you downloaded something off the internet. Of course, it's going to be legal. I have downloaded a MKV thing. It's not going to work on iTunes. You can't drag it exactly there. You can't drag it onto your <clears throat> Apple TV. So, you need some kind of converter. I use a smart converter. It's free. You can get it on the App Store. App Store, And all you need to do is drag it over to here. Okay, it'll take a little bit of time. And you can see, if you go here, and I click down there, you've got lots of options. And I'm doing Apple TV 4K. So, I want to do home sharing with that. Yeah? Before, it was actually really easy. But it seems to have like not happened like that. So, first of all, we're going to do that. I'm going to convert it to advertising now, and it will take a certain amount of time. I'm going to pause the video, wait until that's happened, and then come back to you for the second part, and I'll show you where the home sharing system is. Converted and sent to iTunes. But don't have iTunes anymore, have Apple TV. So first of all, again, as I converted it, I'm going to click the show file. And as my computer seems to be running very slowly, there it is. And all I'm going to do is drag it to, well, there. Okay, done. Now, I can close all that. I don't need that anymore. Now I'm going to go to, at the bottom of my screen here, Apple TV. Now what I've done here is that I made a little playlist for myself. No items, and that's just an old item there. All I'm going to do is, because now this is an MP4 file, is drag it to here. Ha ha ha. I'll try again. I'm going to drag it into here. And eventually it will come out there, like that. Okay, but you've got to have home sharing. Now iTunes is dead, so how do you get to home sharing? Quite simply, yeah, is to go to system preferences here, and it will take a little bit of time to bounce up and down for a while, as we all know. I'm using a late 2015 21 inch Mac, which is getting up to close to four years old. It still works well, but it seems to be getting a bit slower, so I may be purchasing another Mac next year, but anyhow. Don't use it a, a lot for heavy duty things, so it's working fine. System preferences I have come to. Okay, wait for the little circle to go round and round and round and round. And eventually we're going to go into sharing. Again, I apologize for the delay. So, sharing. Again, circles make it go round. Again, taking a little bit of time that this is sort of like, I'm not going to edit. So, you can see now what you need to do. Media sharing is the thing that you want. Now, it's already there, so I'm not going to click it, but a just on top of the sharing, it will ask you for your Apple ID, not your computer ID, your Apple ID. So type it in there, then you get your home sharing. Okay. Then you can go to your Apple TV, go to computer, and there you can see the movie or whatever you want to do. And you can share it to any other network that you have, like another Mac, 
your, on your iPhone or an iPad. It's a little bit long-winded. But you can see here, that's all I've done. Home sharing, I haven't clicked any of those. Sort of, it's just my own system. I'm not going to share it with any guests. But now I can watch a movie, for example, that I got on my computer using exactly the same way as I did before. But you need to get that home sharing set up, not on iTunes anymore because it's dead, but through home sharing on your system preferences. Once it's done, it's done, it's out the way, then you can just continue as normal. So a little bit more complicated, but there we go. It took me about half an hour to work it out, but everything is all working now. So enjoy the rest of the day. I hope it was useful for you. But I will say bye-bye and see you next time on the Apple Hacks channel from Raw and Uncut. My name is James. Bye-bye for now.